What's up YouTube, The Soldier Barber Life here, back with another video, and in this video, this is part two on the uh, Stylecraft Saber 2 Clipper. Uh, if you haven't already, please check out part one, is, which was the unboxing and setup of this clipper. Part two is going to be a full in-depth review. I'm doing a self-cut on myself with this clipper. I'm going to be using this clipper on multiple different clients, different hair textures, testing it all out and getting the full specs on this. That way I can give you guys the best review possible so I can let you guys know what I really feel about it. Stay tuned. Let's go. All right, so we're ready. I got the new uh, Stylecraft Saber 2.0. I'm going to be doing a self-cut on myself. I'm giving myself a haircut. Long overdue. Uh, been in the field for a couple weeks, so hair is looking kind of crazy. So, uh, using my self cut mirror here, let's go ahead, let's test this out. Um, I'll probably speed through most of this, but I do want to get to the point, do a couple sound bites of this so you can hear uh, the audible parts of this clipper. Uh, that's one of the main things that I hear a lot of people talking about is the crunch that it has. So, I'll make sure to get you guys some audible clips of that so you can actually hear that. talk about some things that I love and some things that I don't love about the new uh, Stylecraft Saber 2. Uh, so first off, uh, we'll talk about the things that I do love about this clipper. Uh, first, the uh, aesthetics of it. Uh, most of my clippers, most of my tools are all gold, so I really enjoy the fact that this came out in the gold colorway. Um, I think as far as uh, like everything holding it in the hand, it's a decent sized clipper. Uh, it's about the same size. It's on the smaller side. So more like the type of clippers, like the Instincts, if that's something that you like, or if you like more of the size of like your traditional clippers, uh, this is definitely something that you'll like. Uh, it does have really good ergonomics as far as in the hand. Uh, feels good as far as with the click levers, all that. Uh, doesn't really have uh, a lot of customization options. Um, it, this either comes in gold or it comes in black. So that's, uh, if that's one of the colorways that you like. That is a, a pro that you can have. Uh, I absolutely love this blade that's on here, the Echo Blade. This Echo Blade makes a crunch sound and just this very distinct noise that I've never heard in any other clipper before. So that is definitely something that I love. Uh, yeah, just overall, uh, I really like cutting with this clipper. Uh, it just flows through hair, whether it's bulk, different textures of hair. It cuts really well. Um, I like the aesthetics of it, the ergonomics of it, the blade, so the performance, everything that's uh, going with it. Uh, the guards that you get with it, you get the new black tight guards, so that's another bonus. The charging stand that comes with it. Uh, so all those things are good uh, bonuses that come with it. And it also is a USB type C as well. So if you have the regular charger, you can use that. Or if you're on the go or just want to use USB type C, this one does come with that type of, uh, type of charger on there. So some of the things that uh, I don't like about it are things that I wish that could have been better with it. Um, for some people, the price point on it, so this does come in at $299.95. That is on the higher end spectrum for clippers. So some people may not like that. I personally don't mind it. Uh, if I'm paying for something that's quality, I don't mind paying that uh, higher price for it. Uh, another thing that's not so good is the two and a half hour runtime. So the original uh, Saber Clipper came with like a six hour runtime. Uh, this one has 2.5, uh, which is a lot less, but I understand that, that the reason for that is because the Saber Clipper was really large. It was a way bigger uh, clipper. This is a lot smaller, compact clipper, so uh, trying to fit uh, a larger battery or more battery in there probably just 
just wasn't possible. Uh, the last thing that I wish they could have did is uh, when you compare this as a set, the uh, the Starcraft Saber trimmer came out first. And like I say, I love the aesthetics of it. I love the gold uh, finish that you have on here. Uh, one thing that I wish that they could have did was if they would have matched it perfectly, the trimmer and the clipper together. So uh, when I say match uh, perfectly, one of the things is on the Saber trimmer, you have your power button, which is the push button that's on the front here. But on the uh, Saber Clipper, you have the click lever that's on the side and the power switch that's on the side. So no button in the middle, you turn it on like that. On this, you press the button there. One other thing too is now, uh, as far, kind of nitpicking, I'm a little OCD. So little things like this, I pick up on and it matters to me. But like the uh, lettering that's on here, on the original Saber, it's all black. It kind of stands out a little bit more. It says Saber, digital brushless, has the black Stylecraft logo on there. And on the uh, Saber 2, you have, uh, it's just all kind of matching. So it's like all gold. So it's not as prevalent, so you really can't tell as much uh, what it is unless you're looking. So I would have liked to see these two match just to make them more uh, of a set. But as far as that, that's really the only thing that uh, I could say about this. Uh, things that I may not like so much. But overall, I do feel this is a great clipper, a must have. Um, so let's go ahead and get back to uh, some demonstrations of me showing you uh, what this clipper can do. Alright, so I just finished doing a self cut with the all new Sabre 2.0 uh, clipper. As you can see, it turned out great. This is by far, I think, one of my best uh, self cuts that I've done. A mid drop fade. Um, as you can see, I did cut down some of the top uh, as well. Just wanted to test everything out from bulk to removal to, um, to fading. And one thing that I absolutely love about this clipper is the sound, that crunch sound that it makes. It's a very unique crunch sound that I've never heard before. It's like this metal on metal like clinking. So it like, I see where the name Echo comes from because it really does give this like echo noise of the hair going through. So uh, I absolutely love this clipper. This will be staying on my station. This will probably be the primary clipper that I'm gonna be using going forward for all of my cuts. But, uh, you know, only thing, this, this clipper is pretty controversial. Um, I know, it had the MRD version that was released at a different price point, but I haven't had a chance. I, I don't have that clipper, so I don't really know what the difference in comparison is between that one and this one. All I know is that this clipper is by far the best clipper that I've ever used um, and definitely has an opportunity 
if not takes it home for the clipper to get it. So my favorite clipper right now on my station, uh, it goes great. One thing I love too, because this was my favorite trimmer and still is my favorite trimmer. This is the uh, Sabre trimmer with a precision blade on it. And I was, had, I was really optimistic and had high hopes for this clipper. So my personal recommendation this right here, if I could only choose one trimmer and one clipper, it would be these two here that I would stick with. This would be my go-to goaded set, would be these two right here. Uh, the only downsides, I would say the only cons about this, the price point does come in at $299.95, but you can use my discount discount code Soldier Barber 10, save you about 30 bucks on that. Um, and then the runtime of about two and a half hours, that's really low for clippers nowadays. Now you're seeing more three, four, and higher uh, of runtime for clippers. But um, I feel you can still figure it out with this, like use the clipper, put it on the charging station in between, and wind up keep getting uh, maximum battery output out of this. But like I say, that is my uh, unboxing and review of this clipper. I will be doing a comparison video of the Stylecraft Sabre, the original one, and comparing it to the uh, Sabre 2.0. And I'll also be dropping some more videos comparing this clipper to some of my other favorite clippers like the Gamma Boosted and the uh, Stylecraft uh, Sabre. Uh, not the Stylecraft Sabre, the uh, Stylecraft Instinct, which is another hot clipper on the market. So uh, look forward to that. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Till next time, Soldier Barber Life out.